generosity. Thank you, Saif Church, for investing a lot in my life. Um, I'm pastoring a church in Chennai, Tamil Nadu, for past five years. Uh, God is really helping me to reach youngsters, and we are 70 in numbers in our church. Kindly keep us in your prayers. Today, let's turn our heart towards scripture. Shall we read one scripture from Ezekiel chapter 48, verse 35? The four sides of the city measure to a total of nearly six miles. From now on, the name of the city will be Yahweh Shamma. God is there. Shall we all pray? Gracious, loving Father, we thank you for this wonderful time, O oh Lord. Lord, we are here as your children. You are our Father. Lord, you are our shepherd and we are your flocks, O oh Lord. Lead us to green pastures and Lord, satisfy our soul today. In Jesus' name we pray. In this scripture, God is revealing himself to prophet Ezekiel as Yahweh Shamma or Jehovah Shamma. It means the Lord is there. In the Holy Scripture, we can find many names were given to the Lord and we know all his names revealing not only his deeds but also his character. We should know that every name of the Lord revealing his character among all his names many of his names were given by his people whenever children of god experienced god in different manner they named god as according to it in only in few places god himself revealed his character his name to his children for example abraham experienced god as jehovah jaira god is our provider moses experienced god as jehovah nisi Gideon experienced Goddess Jehovah Shalom. These names were given by God's people after experiencing God in different way. But there are few instances where God revealed directly about himself. For example, when Abraham was clueless about his future, God revealed himself as El Shaddai. Abraham, you no need to worry about your future. Even though if you think that is impossible, I am El Shaddai, I can do everything, I am Almighty God. God directly revealed himself as El Shaddai to Abraham. In the same way, when Moses was clueless about God, when he was full of fear how to go and deliver his people from bondage, God revealed himself as I am that I am. Do not afraid. I will be with you. So these are few instances which was mentioned in the Bible. God directly revealed himself. People naming God is another way of experience and God himself revealing is something different. In the same way, here in the book of Ezekiel, God revealed himself to Ezekiel as Jehovah Shamma. Church, today I want to urge each and everyone to know God's character. Every name reveals his character. Today we are going to learn about God's another character through his name Jehovah Shamma. If you know his character, you can get closer to him. Say for example, if you know your father is generous, if you are in crisis, if you are, if you are completely broke, you no need to get panic. Since you know your father is generous, you can go directly to him and ask him to help you out. If you know your father is merciful, if you did something wrong against him, that guilt feeling won't kill you because you know your father's character. You know that your father is merciful. You'll just go and say sorry to him. In the same way, if we know God's character, we no need to afraid. It will make us to get closer to him. Today, we have to know about God's character. We are going to learn about Jehovah Shammah. What does it mean by Jehovah Shammah and what we can learn from this name? Before knowing the meaning of Jehovah Shammah, we need to dig deeper about the history in what period of time this took place when God spoke to Ezekiel. As we know that after King Solomon, his kingdom was separated into two, Northern Kingdom and Southern Kingdom. Northern Kingdom was called as Israel and Southern Kingdom was called as Judah. Northern Kingdom was captivated by Assyrians. Southern Kingdom was captivated by 
Babylonians three times under the rule of King Nebuchadnezzar. During his second war against Judah, he brought 10,000 people from Judah to work as slaves to build canals. During that period of time, King Nebuchadnezzar was really fond of building canals. So in order to build canals, he just fought against Judah for the second time and he brought nearly 10,000 people just to work in that place to build canals. Prophet Ezekiel was one among them. While he was working along with other Israelites at the river Kebar, God spoke to him. Their situation was entirely pathetic. They left their home country. They don't know when they'll go back and see their family members. Everything was chaos in their life. They believed their king will take care of them, but their king failed them. Even they did sin against God and God abandoned them. At the same time, their place of worship, their temple was completely destroyed. They were living as slaves in Babylon. So they lost all their hope. They don't know what's going to happen in their life tomorrow. During that hopeless situation, when they lost all hope about their future, God spoke to Ezekiel, If you can repent and turn back to me, I will be there in your situation as Jehovah Shammah and I will restore you again. Church, firstly we have to understand the meaning of Jehovah Shammah is God will be there in a chaotic situation and he will restore us back to our original state. Today, I don't know your present situation. Maybe you might be going through a lot of problems in your life. You might be thinking, what's going to happen in my life? Maybe your situation is really hopeless. You don't know how your future is going to be. You believed in people, but they failed you. Now you are in a situation when you look back, no one is there to help you out. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow in your life. If you are in that hopeless situation, if you lost everything in your life, today God is speaking to you. If you can turn back and come to Him, God will be Jehovah Shammah in your life. He will come to you in that chaotic situation, into that mess, and He can restore you as how He did in the life of Israelites and in the life of prophet Ezekiel. When we read scripture, Naomi, when she left Judah, she lost everything in her life. She lost her husband. She lost her two children. She lost all her wealth. When she came back again, she instructed her friends not to call her Naomi. Rather, she wanted them to call her as Mara. Mara means bitterness. She lost everything. She don't know what's going to happen tomorrow in her life. During this situation, when she came back again to Judah, God stood there as Jehovah Shamma in her life and restored everything back to her. God blessed her again. Church, let's know the character of our Lord Jesus Christ. If we are in a hopeless situation, if everybody betrayed us, if we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow in our life, if our life is clumsy, if you are feeling really broken in your life, today, let's turn back to Him. Let's turn back to Him and ask, Lord, I want to experience you as Jehovah Shammah in my life. I'm sure that God will never ever leave you. He will hold your hands and raise you up. He will restore whatever you lost in your life. Here, Israelites lost everything because of their sin. God clearly said to them, If you be faithful unto me, I will protect you. If you sin against me, I will just hand over you to Gentiles. That's what happened here. Israelites, after reaching their promised land, they began to forget God began to worship all pagans. They began to turn towards idols. That's the reason why these people were too captivated by Babylonians. But when they came back again to God, God restored them. You know reason behind all your problems. It might be your mistakes. Maybe you have done 
some wrong against God knowingly or unknowingly it doesn't matter but if you have that repented heart Lord today I'm coming back to you please forgive me I want to experience you as Jehovah Shama he will never leave you he will restore everything whatever you have lost in your life first thing what I want to share with you is at the river of Kibar prophet Ezekiel and Israelites turned back to God with repentance God stood there with them as Yahweh Shama and he restored everything whatever they lost in their lives secondly in the book of Ezra chapter 7 to release them from captivity so that himself and all his people can go back to their country and rebuild their temple to God by the grace of God king answered their plea and he released all Israelites to go and build temple to their God not only releasing them he gave lot of silver gold and young bull lamps so that they can go and build their temple to their God as well as they can sacrifice these animals to their God with full of joy Ezra and all Israelites after long period of slavery they are coming back to their promised land from Babylon while coming back they began to afraid because for the first time after many long years they are going to make a long journey their heart filled with fear that during the journey enemies might kill them to steal gold and silver from them so what they did they began to cry since their heart was full of fear they fasted and cried unto God we are going to read the scripture Ezra chapter 8 verse 21 to 23 then I proclaimed a fast there at the river Ahava that we might humble ourselves before our God to seek from him a straight and right way for us our little ones and all our possessions for I was ashamed to request of the king a band of soldiers and horsemen to protect us against the enemy along the way because we had told the king the hand of our God is upon all them for good who seek him but his power and his wrath are against all those who forsake him so we fasted and besought our God for this and he heard our entreaty here we can understand that they were really ashamed to ask gentle king to send soldiers to protect them because they believed they professed that their God is able to protect themselves their children so Ezra and all Israelites they began to turn back to God in prayer they fasted and asked Lord please help us to get back to our country safely here we can read they began to pray and fast at the river Ahava in the book of Ezekiel we read that Ezekiel and all Israelites they prayed and turned back to God at the rear of Kibar here Ezra and all Israelites they began to fast and pray at the river Ahava for protection because they had insecure feeling that enemies will kill them enemies will steal all their possessions they, they never wanted to seek help from gentile king rather they decided to turn back to God in prayer you know what happened when they fasted and prayed God stood there with them as Yahweh Shama and protected them secondly God's character is when we pray and fast in his presence God will be there with us as Yahweh Shama and he will protect us from all insecurity church today you might be in insecure situation in your life maybe in your workplace or in your society or in your family among family members you might be facing insecure situation but don't worry even people fail you people might be too strong and you couldn't able to face them your enemies might be stronger than you you're really afraid about them you don't know when what's going to happen in your life people are really waiting to pull you down people are really waiting to harm you you are in insecure situation but if you can fast and pray in his presence I can say firmly if you fast and pray in the midst of all insecure situation 
God will show up in your situation as Yahweh Shamma. And you know what He can do? He will protect you from all insecurity. He will protect you from all enemies and all their traps. And He will set you free as how He did to Ezra and Israelites. Church, this is the second promise what we can receive from the name Yahweh Shamma. If you can repent, if you can turn back to Him, fast and pray, God will be there in your situation as Yahweh Shamma and He will protect you. Today, we learn about two characters of our Lord God. Number one, Ezekiel and Israelites, they went back to God in prayer with full of repentance at the river of Kibar. God showed up in their hopeless situation as Yahweh Shamma and restored everything whatever they lost in their life. Secondly, Ezra and Israelites, when their heart was filled with insecurity, they fasted and prayed at the river of Ahava. God showed up in that situation as Yahweh Shamma and protected them from all insecurity. Church, today I want you all to experience God as Yahweh Shamma. If you are in hopeless situation, this chaotic situation is because of your mistakes. Because of your sins, it's okay. God is not willing to blame you or condemn you. If you are willing to come back again, like how Israelites and Ezekiel did, if you can come back and say, Lord, I'm really sorry. I did mistake. I, I have sinned against you. Now, with full of repentance, I'm coming back to you. My situation is hopeless. I lost everything in my life. I lost peace. I lost relationship. I don't know what's going to happen in my life. I don't know what's going to come tomorrow in my life. I'm completely zero. Hopeless situation. If you can pray, God will show up and He will restore you back. Whatever you lost in your life. It might be job. It might be peace. It might be relationship between husband and wife. Or it might be relationship between your family members. Whatever you lost in your life. Until now, you would have thought that that relationship will not come closer again. That work will not happen to me. I won't get that job again. That's hopeless. Everything was close. Until now, you would have thought like that. But now, God is speaking to you. If you come back to Him with full of repentance and ask Him, Lord, I want to experience you as Yahweh Shamma in my life. He will come there in your situation, in that pathetic situation and He will restore everything whatever you lost in your life because our God is Yahweh Shamma. He is our restorer. Secondly, maybe you are in insecure situation, insecure job, insecure life, insecurity everywhere. You don't know what enemies are going to do in your life full of enemies you might be like daniel among lions it's okay god is with you if you can fast and pray seek his face just ask god lord enemies are stronger than me I've, i'm i'm feeling insecure in my life in my job place lord i want to experience you as yahweh shamma in my life if you can pray like how Ezra and Israelites did at the river of Ahava. Once again, I want to remind you, Ezra decided not to seek king's help because more than king, his Lord is able God. Today, I want to remind you all, if you are in insecure situation, if you seek people's help, for sure they will fail you. Even you'll get into deeper trouble in your life. Don't go back to people. Don't seek people's help they might fail you but as according to words of Ezra let's turn back to God let's fast and pray seek his presence in fasting ask God to show up in our life like Yahweh Shamma I pray and I believe those who are willing to fast and pray these days and ask God to show up as Yahweh Shamma in their life God will show up as Yahweh Shamma and he will deliver you 
from all sort of insecure situation insecure feeling and he will protect you from all enemies so that you will be safe throughout your journey until you reach your goal until you reach your destiny church let's come back to god let's seek his face in fasting and prayer i want to urge each and every one to experience god as yahweh shamma in our life as i said earlier all his names not only revealing his deeds but also revealing his character today his name yahweh shamma is revealing two of his character number 1 he is our restorer number 2 he is our lord who can deliver us from all insecure situation insecure feeling shall we all close our eyes and look unto god in prayer gracious loving father we thank you for this wonderful time o oh lord thank you so much for lord for your love towards us lord you spoke with us o oh lord lord i'm praying for each and every one who are looking unto you with broken heart o oh lord lord i don't know what kind of situation they are going through right now but i believe that you know their heart o oh lord Lord you know their tears oh lord father i pray in the name of jesus let each and every one experience you as yahweh shamma in the life oh lord those who are in hopeless situation like israelites at the river of kibar oh lord those who are in hopeless situation without knowing what's going to happen tomorrow after losing everything in the life oh lord family relationship finances peace happiness health after losing everything lord those who are in hopeless situation father together we are praying for them lord show up as yahweh shamma in their life oh lord show up as yahweh shamma in their lives and restore everything back oh lord whatever they lost in the name of jesus lord we pray if they lost their job Lord restore it in the name of Jesus. Lord if they lost their relationship oh Lord father restore it in the name of Jesus. Whatever they lost finance lord relationship everything oh Lord in the name of Jesus nothing is impossible unto you oh Lord. We pray by faith and we claim it in the name of Jesus Lord restore back everything let them experience you as Yahweh Shamma in the life in the name of Jesus we pray. Father pray for people those who are having insecure feeling in the life oh lord lord those who are facing insecure situation in the job oh lord father their enemies are too stronger than them oh lord lord they feel weak each and every day oh lord they couldn't able to overcome their enemies enemy traps oh lord father i pray as they fast and pray the, and wait upon you in your presence oh lord father show up as yahweh shamma in their lives and protect them from all enemy traps oh lord no harm should touch them in the name of jesus father deliver them from all kinds of insecurities oh lord lord i pray those who are listening to this sermon whoever they might be wherever they might be oh lord let them experience you as yahweh shamma as restorer and deliverer if they are willing to come back to you with repented heart and fast and pray in your presence o oh lord lord bless each and everyone with peace joy and abundance of heavenly and earthly blessings o oh lord we come at this time in your hands lead us and guide us in matchless name of our lord and savior jesus christ we pray amen thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity i pray let this week be filled with happiness and joy and whatever you do this week let it prosper in the name of jesus have a blessed day and wonderful week ahead amen